This is Twit. It's time once again for magic music, which can indicate only one thing, the approach of Scott Wilkinson, home theater guru. I see him coming, giant screen under his arm. Hello, Scott Wilkinson. Good to see you. He's here from uh, the Home Theater Geeks podcast, twit.tv slash HTG, and of course from his uh, day job, the AVS uh, Forum, where he's editor-in-chief. So I had to buy a, a new TV for Lisa. Uh-oh. What'd you her, get? For her little office there. Uh-huh. And uh, she said, I want 55 inches. I want to mount it to the wall. Yeah. And I don't want to spend a lot of money. I got a Vizio M M series. M series. Excellent. 2017 M series looks pretty good. Oh, man. And it wasn't expensive. No. This is the beauty thing about Vizio. They, they do remarkable job for the money. I was a little worried because... They were about to be purchased by a big Chinese company, Lo Echo. They, yep. And yep. then Lo Echo or Leco. Leco is how it's pronounced. Yeah. It's L weird. You tell me, kids. L E E C O. It sounds like Leco to me. <laughs> Except that the first E is lowercase yeah, that, and the second yeah. E is uppercase. Is it owned by Mr. Lee? I don't know. <laughs> I bet it is. No, no, it's not a Lee. It's 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 not French. It's not French. In French. It's not know, French. Le Echo it, is not French. No, they made their name sound kind of French. You might as well say Le TV. Actually, <laughs> Which that is they French. Do. Yeah, they call it Le TV. Well, they call it Le, Le Phone, I think, or Le. Oh, please. They ha they put the L E in front of just about everything. Uh, and it's it's weird. It, it does sound like a French name, but it's a Chinese company. And yeah. they had said a yeah. uh, long time, months ago, yeah, we're going to buy Vizio for something like two or four billion dollars. It it fell through. I don't know exactly what happened, but they they announced, you know what? Never mind. <laughs> I'm relieved, frankly, because Vizio, which is, uh, by the way, while it's made in China, everything's made in China, is an mm. American company, right? Yeah. 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 Well, uh, yeah, Southern yeah, California. Is. They're in Southern yeah, California. They're based in Southern California. Kind of hard nowadays. What does that mean, right? Yeah, right. I if mean, it's, in, if it's in made the global in China, economy, so yeah. to speak. You know, they can be anywhere, but they really do make a, a an excellent product for the money. And the M series, which is a step down from more or less the flagship P series, uh, is remarkable. Yeah, it's, I love her, but I wasn't getting her a P. <laughs> 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 no, she told me not to not to spend so much money. But this was well under a thousand dollars. It wasn't yeah, very expensive for a fifty-five inch and yeah. high dynamic range. Yes, it's a four K UHD. Yeah, it's got uh, what do you call that LED lighting? That's uh, uh, it's called full array local dimming or FALD. F A L D. <laughs> yeah, that. So what it means is that mo a lot of LCD TVs these days have their LED illumination, their backlight, so to speak, uh, along the edge of the screen. That's called edge lighting. And it, it, it's okay, but it, it causes problems like uh, poor uniformity of the image. Whereas if you have a full array of LEDs behind the LCD panel itself, uh, then it's a much more uniform and you have the opportunity of, the manufacturer does, of identifying smaller zones that can be brightened or dimmed independently depending on, hey, that part of the picture is supposed to be bright, so we'll fire up those LEDs. And that part of the picture is supposed to be dim, so we'll dim back those LEDs. It's a much better technology than edge lighting, in my opinion. And Vizio has gone all in with it. It's the only company I know of where virtually all of its TVs are uh, fault have a, a full array local dimming backlight, which is just a better performer in my opinion. Now I will say that in addition, the the how much better it is depends on how many zones of of these little zones that can be brightened and dimmed independently. How many of those are there behind the screen? Uh, the P series has 128. The M series has 64. So, you know, more is better in this case, but 64 ain't bad. So I, I think the M series is a serious bargain. I mean, a serious value, I should really Yeah, say. we didn't, she didn't want, uh, you yeah, know, we have better TV. We have the, you know, the fancy LG. Oh, you have the LG OLED at yeah, home. Yeah. Yeah. Well, this is, a, this is for her home office. Mm -hmm. So I thought this would be good. Oh, it's great. Okay. Fantastic. Whew. Great job. You have to, you have to consider, you know, I guess you have to kind of consider, uh, the the application you do you do for example 
uh, if she's going to watch TV in her office with the lights on. Which she is. Which she is, I'm sure. Then she's going to need a brighter TV. And that really means an LCD TV. Which, generally speaking, LCD TVs can get a lot brighter than OLEDs can. Um, I just reviewed, in fact, uh, my, did a first look anyway, of the new Sony OLED uh, which is the first company other than LG to bring out a big screen OLED uh, into the consumer market. Sony's back, baby. Sony is back, baby. Because they right. made great TVs, didn't they, for they years? They do, they do. Oh, and they still do. They, they still do, do. Yeah. okay. Like the, is there, are they Bravias? Yeah, they, that's their sort of overarching brand name, uh, just like, um, uh, let's see, Bravia. Oh, I, for, I can't think of the other ones off the top of my head, but some company. Oh, I, I Sharp had Aquos. Remember that? Right. Uh, so there are there are these most companies like uh, Vizio. They don't. They have a letter and numbers. Yeah, but, exactly. Uh, but Sony's always liked having you know the Grand Vega. Remember that? Yeah, exactly. I remember the Grand Vega, spelled yeah. W -E with a W because I know. <laughs> why not? But that's how they pronounced right. it. Right. Anyway, the Sony OLED uh, is wonderful, but the 55 inch is like four grand. Yeah, um, wow. And it, wow. it gets up to, uh, the point I was going to make was that the its peak brightness in HDR, high dynamic range, is about almost 700 nits or candelas per meter squared. This is a measure of how bright it is. LCDs can easily get twice that and more. So if you're in a bright room, then an LCD is probably the way you should be thinking. If you have a more light controlled room, such as your room where you have your LG OLED. Yeah, yeah. Then an OLED is perfectly fine. That's the home theater. Right, yeah, exactly. Right. Now, OLED is also more expensive, as, as yes. you can see. This it. was only seven or 800 bucks. It was. Seven was, or 800 bucks for a 55 inch. Yeah. High dynamic range, 4K, uh, streaming, lots of smart TV mm -hmm. features. Mm -hmm. you know, well, that was the other thing, because uh, we're thinking, we'll see how this goes, of becoming cord cutters. Ooh. Ooh, which means uh, eliminating cable. Yep, and satellite. And satellite. Uh, we'll obviously have to have some sort of internet. Might be from the cable company, so you know, there's yeah. that. Yeah. Um, and and then looking at something like uh, you know, Google's new YouTube TV has our local channels on it. Mm -hmm. it it's, oh, it's really? Only in five markets, but in LA, San Francisco, I think I can't remember the others. Dallas, it mm -hmm. can get the locals. Right. So. And this Maybe. is a new thing coming. That's along. thirty five bucks a month, and then uh, fifteen bucks a month for HBO. That's forty fifty bucks, and then fifteen bucks for Showtime. That's forty five. It pretty soon it adds up. It pretty ends up soon being it the adds same. up. Yeah. yeah, yeah, exactly right. But I wanted her but to have a smart TV so that she could Chromecast and do those, mm -hmm. you know, do those other things. So. Which the Vizio is all over Chromecast. Yeah, yeah. seriously. Now, it, when they say cast capable, is that Chromecast? Yeah, in their in their case, it is Chromecast. What used to be Google Cast. Yeah. Um, now, yeah. Th and that's kind of confusing because there is a device called a Chromecast as well, which Google sells and plugs into the back of the TV. Exactly, and it's a little streaming box. That's thirty five bucks. I could I could buy one of those. Yeah, I guess the, yeah or more sixty for bucks 4K. for the for the four yeah. K Ultra right. HD uh, right. and right. and high dynamic range one, which is right. which I just got and I'm about to start looking at. I, I think it should be really great. Well, when the time comes, I will come to you. Please do, and uh, and ask you for your. You, are you a cord cutter? No, you get chance. No, I have I have satellite. Yeah, and then you live in in a, in a metro. We are so far from the metro, we can't get over the air signals. Oh, that's too bad. Yeah. So, but that's fine. This I yeah. figured out how we can get around it. Anyway, I'll, I was thinking of doing that this summer as an experiment. Cool. I'll and also to see to, uh... how loud the teenager screams. <laughs> that was, that's always fun. Scott Wilkinson, Home Theater Geek. You'll find his podcast at our podcast network, twit.tv slash HTG. He's also at the AVS Forum, avsforum.com, and joins us each week right here. Leo Laporte, the tech guy.